Hi there, you've got Ask Phil, the Mortgage Professor. This Friday I was at a conference of training with Tom Hopkins, and during the breaks I talked to a couple that asked me, because I am the Mortgage Professor, we'd like to buy foreclosures, what's the best way to do it? Well, quite frankly, the best way to buy a foreclosure is to get to it before it becomes a foreclosure. And the reason why is because the whole point of a foreclosure is to protect the interests of the current owner against the interests of the lender. This has been going on since the Middle Ages, where it's a court of equity. In other words, preserve the value of the castle for the current owner. So what's the best way then to buy a foreclosure? Getting to it before foreclosure will save a bunch of costs for the lender. What happens when a lender wants to get into foreclosure, or doesn't want to, but has to? They apply to the courts. There's a lawyer involved. There's lawyer fees. There's court costs. There is going to be time, because the courts will always protect the interest of the current owner, so no income coming in. In the meantime, there are more costs. There's additional court costs. There's inspection fees. There's a loss of income. And after all this happens, and if they finally get the property in their hands, they do have to continue to market the property, pay the real estate commissions, pay legal fees to transfer, all of that. So it's always in the best interest of the lender to preserve as much of their loan principal as possible, not to prolong the activity that it takes to eventually sell the property. Now, there are two kinds of mortgages in Alberta. There's something called a conventional mortgage, and there's an insured mortgage. Now, this is under residential property. The insured mortgage, what happens when someone borrows money? The lender tells the borrower they have to get a default insurance, commonly under Canada Mortgage and Housing, Genworth, or AIG. But what it means is that the lender is having the consumer pay for a protection that ultimately will protect the lender against any loss. The insurance company picks up a loss from the sale and those costs that I talked about before. So the key is if you're talking to someone who is struggling with their mortgage payments but hasn't entered into their legal realm, you've got an ability to negotiate with them and negotiate with the lender because a lender isn't going to be insured against loss. Lenders all have a little expression called, the first loss is the least loss. So if you can talk to the owner, come to an understanding, then talk to the bank, the bank may just take the offer. Even though they may lose some money, it may not be as great as a final tally. How do you do those negotiations? That's the next segment on Ask Phil, the mortgage professor.